one of my biggest struggles is honestly that I'm an extrovert and working from home is very draining and taxing for me. And so I've found a couple of things that help. It's really hard when you're an extrovert. Let's just say that. Let's just take a moment. I feel like on the internet and just in general in life, people are always sympathizing with introverts. And I understand being an introvert is hard when you, you know, you don't want to be around people when they're draining and maybe you have social anxiety or whatever. But what people don't really talk about is the fact that extroverts in 2020 went through a lot. Like it was really hard for us to have to be isolated, to be home and all this stuff. And so, you know, a work environment can actually be a source of energy and a source of excitement for an extrovert. Like I know for me, when I'm around the buzz of people, it keeps me active. It keeps me awake. It keeps my brain alert and it keeps me just happy. It just makes me happy to be around people. And so working from home is definitely a challenge for people like me. Um, And I just want to tell you a couple of the things that I've discovered that help. Um, And again, it's not perfect. Like I've still struggled to this day with like, I just wish I could be around people, you know. But um, when I am working from home, these things help me. So the first thing is joining team hangouts on Zoom. So if your team or whoever you work with, your office, if they offer um, any type of team hangout, any like a team cocktail hour or anything where people are working but they're also like on zoom shooting the breeze and all that stuff like it will be extremely beneficial for you to join that stuff because it's not just about the work the being around people in the sense of just having meetings all the time that keeps introverts energized but it's also just being around people like and being able to have conversation you know and so just having that and I know a lot of uh, teams and a lot of jobs are offering that now because they realize what isolation is doing to their employees is dropping productivity a lot. And so, you know, if if your job offers that, I would definitely suggest that you join in on it. And if they don't, um, you should try to initiate it, you know, just bring it up to your boss or bring it up to your coworkers and see if anyone likes the idea. And if they do, like, just start it, just start having one hour on Tuesdays or whatever it is, you know, right before you get off work where you have um, a social hour with your team and you t- you just catch up and all that stuff because chances are good if you weren't re- working remotely before and you are now, then you already have a connection and maybe camaraderie with your team and, you know, you're a little bit involved in their lives. So just having time to just catch up and be people and not just workers is really important. Um, and then another thing that helps me is I put on, um, non-distracting videos in the background. So it's important that you're not putting on like a TV show or anything that's going to catch your attention too much. But, um, there's videos on YouTube of just like people talking in coffee shops, like not, not their conversations recorded, but it's just like the noise, the background noise of like, the espresso machines and the conversations all happening in the coffee shop and the buzz of like just people and life happening in the coffee shop and so just something like that as silly as it sounds where it's like like you would never sit down and watch a video like that just having that in the background while you're working can really just help your your energy stay up when you're used to being around people or you're used to just having an environment where there's a little bit more life than what you have at home. And then there's something else that I discovered in 2020 that really has helped me. And some people don't like it. I've put it on in the background before with Gabby at home and it didn't really seem to catch her attention, but I like it a lot. It's uh, walking tours. So it's just someone with like a GoPro on their head (laughs) walking around in different touristy cities And so, you know, you can hear like as they're walking, it just has the background noise on of like what people are doing in the streets. You know, you can hear cars driving by, you can hear people talking, people having conversation, people laughing and enjoying their lives because they're on vacation. (laughs) And, um, And, you know, if you look up every now and then you might see some beautiful scenery, but, you know, just having that background noise on of like people and commotion and all of that is can be helpful if you're an extrovert and you're struggling with being home. Um, and lastly, you can just put on music in the background. 
Um, especially if it's higher energy music or something that's going to keep you awake and keep you alive. Um, you know, if you're really trying to lock in and focus on something like a good instrumental would be probably more helpful or if you're doing a lot of reading for your job. But, you know, if not and you can just put on more energetic music, that's definitely helpful for extroverts just to have some noise, to have something to keep them, you know, alive and active. Um, and if you have the option, this is something that has been super good and helpful for me as a help you employee, as someone who's worked remotely, um, switch up your environment. And so, you know, maybe some remote jobs require that you stay home and work. Like you actually have to work from your desk. Like, especially if you have a, an office phone that's attached to your, um, landline or whatever, um, then you don't really have the option of working from anywhere. But if you do have the option and, you know, and you feel comfortable with, if you're out of quarantine and you feel safe and in more crowded environments, go work at a coffee shop. Um, you know, I do this pretty frequently, at least once a week, I go to a coffee shop and work just because I feel more productive there than I do at home. You know, at home, you can get distracted with like other things that you have at home or even just making a lot of trips to the fridge. I know we all know about that one (laughs) from 2020. Um, but when you're in a coffee shop, you're in a set environment where, you know, you just get your cup of coffee and you sit down and you get your laptop out and you just go to work and it's it almost replaces the feel of going into an office so it can be helpful for um people who are missing kind of just being around people while they're working missing just a buzz a work environment um and yeah there's also the option of co-working spaces i mentioned before that at helps you we're part of plexpod and that's wonderful we get like a lot of options in terms of like where we can go there's rooms that are totally isolated and you know no one will distract you when you really need to lock in and do something but there's also common areas where you can sit with other people and kind of just be around more of a community and so that's super helpful and super enjoyable even for us we've made a lot of connections through our co-working membership we even that's how we met abraham who was on our our podcast a while back was through our co-working space. And so you'd be surprised by just how much um, co-working space membership could benefit you. Um, And a couple of things I will say, if you're going to go work somewhere else other than home, um, is to be prepared. And so uh, there's just a little, a few things that I've noticed are super helpful. One of them is, especially if you're going to a coffee shop, make sure your devices, whatever it is you work on, are charged up before you go because it's not guaranteed that you'll get a spot by an outlet and so I go to coffee shops all the time and look around the whole room and everyone takes the spots first that are by outlets because they want to be able to charge their laptops their phones their tablets whatever it is they're working on and so it can be really frustrating if you are like low on battery you don't or you have a dead battery and you can't work there or, you, you know, you have to go somewhere else. So make sure that you charge them up. I just charge mine overnight when I know I'm going to go somewhere the next day um, just to make sure that I don't run into that problem. And then the other thing is that headphones are essential when you're going to work somewhere else, um, especially somewhere where it might be more crowded like a coffee shop because you don't know how crazy or loud the background noise is going to get. You know, sometimes it's kept down to... a a low rumble but sometimes it gets really loud and so just having headphones on hand um can be helpful to block all that out if it gets too distracting and you know especially if you have meetings and you have like some type of headphones that can cancel out the background noise that's the most helpful thing so that people don't have to hear all the noise of the coffee shop every time you talk (laughs) 